hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial so as you can see here today i am going to make this squid game t-shirt design but before i start anything let me warn you this is not for selling do not upload this kind of designs on any marketplace you will get banned and don't blame me for that so this is just for practicing and understanding how these kind of things work so if you want to make a squid game t-shirt design what you will go for first of all you can go for these characters this sign this shape language characters or you can go for one of these characters who are playing in this series but in my opinion there is one more or you can even go for this doll here there are many designs out there on them but in my opinion there was another element that you can add in this theme or that can represent this represent this squid game theme and that is this one so you can see this is a game that was i hope you know how what it was so it was in the play game and i can simply make a really cool looking graphics out of it and then i can use that as a t-shirt design but this is not for selling this is just for practicing and understanding how these things works so for starting this one i will take this image and then of course for this squid game i will need this font this font style so if you search like this squid game font you will find different websites where you can simply download squid game fonts you can see this is the font you can simply download them from here there are the, these shapes also included in the font so this is how you can get it i'm not going to that's not my concern so here here is the main image that i'm going to use in this one and i don't want to draw him all the way i just want to draw this part just this hand this hand holding these two cards so this is what i want to draw here let me show you so before starting the drawing process i need one thing that is a custom brush now i recently bought a display pen i can simply draw it with that but i don't want to do that I want to make it with a mouse so that you can see it is not art is not about gadget so you can simply do it with you with your mouse too so this is a simple ellipse shape i created and then i created a brush with that let's delete this one and then if i take my brush tool with this brush selected i can simply draw over here so here is a curve i am going to cover this just like this and then maybe one here so just like that don't worry and then another line i'm going to draw from here so just follow the curve of the finger of this person and do not worry about whatever it is just make the basic shape you don't need to make it very perfect you don't need to make it proportionally correct just try to make the basic shape here so this is how it is looking right now let me show you so on there and then another one line from here i'm just keeping a little space for the nails here you can see it is joining kind of like that and then from this one i'll just come inside here and then this is a this is another finger so here is this curve starts from here maybe i'm not very good at drawing but let's try whatever we can just like this and then again i'm going to draw this shape and that is fine this is not looking anywhere like a nails but it will work don't worry so that is how it is looking and here is a the back part of the hand you can see that is going from here from this area like this so let's just keep it like that for now don't worry and then i will just draw it from here something like this and then another nail here if you were good at drawing then this is just a two minute work for you so this is how it is looking and here is some carbs in the hand that is some here too that is making the shape of the hand okay so this is how it is looking right now let me just add some more details so here you can see the two finger details here so let me add on more here 
and then another one here this is just to show the direction of the nails nothing else and then here you can see some details we can see so whatever we can see we can simply draw it so here maybe in this way and then another one here this one in this way another one here so this is just up to you you can add this much detail or you can just leave it or you can just make it a simple one so this is how it is looking now that is that part is done don't worry now i need to make these two shapes so for making that let's just take a rectangle here a quick one and then i will make it just a bit bigger so that it fits in this size and this is it doesn't have to be very perfect in size just it is it should just look like that square okay so maybe a bit in this way okay so not that much and this one let's just copy paste in front Control c Control f so that's what i pressed there and then this one i'll just bring in here okay so that is my drawing my drawing part is done let's remove that so you can see this is how it is looking right now and don't worry however it is looking we can always take care of that and for um, i want to colorize this design so i want i will put some colors to it so let's try to make it a fill shape that means this is an open area and i don't need that i don't want it to be open so let's just draw a shape there something like this apply this effect on that that brush effect so it is looking good now let's select everything and then i'm going to object and expand then expand appearance then expand again to make everything a fill color and this is perfectly good let's try to select this one and then i will just erase this part of the design because this finger should be on top and again so this part if i select this one I, I have to erase some part of it like this should not be visible through these fingers but yet it should be visible from here then erase it from here but it should be visible from there and maybe this one too okay so as you can see this is how it should be so and then of course this one i don't want it to be visible from there let's erase this and then okay not like that sorry so it should be again it should be visible from this small point so let's keep it there and then this all here it is inside the finger don't worry so this is how it is looking but it should be invisible from here and then from inside this card it will be invisible because that shape is in the background so if i just delete this one it is going to work for me so this is how it is looking and make sure that it is everything is close together like no open areas in there and once it is done i can simply modify this then selecting this two and then i'm pressing shift m for shape builder tool so that i can simply delete those parts and this is how it is looking guys my design is ready let's add some colors to it so i'm pressing k k means the live paint bucket tool you can find it here under shape builder live paint bucket tool and with live bit live paint bucket tool sorry first step is pick a color so i want to pick a red color and then if i click here it is going to fill that area with red i hope you know this then this blue color i want to fill it here but in some details here i need to fill this part too and then this part too and then of course this one too because from there it should be visible let me show you one more thing so if i am selecting this one it is hard to see what is going on because of this anchor points these blue anchor points you can see so for now i can simply turn that off by pressing ctrl h so ctrl h will turn them off you can see now i can clearly see what is going on let's again i am going to select a color like this maybe just for the hand here and then fill in this color and then of course it should be fill in the that area too so this is how it is looking let's pick a color from just a off white color for the nails here just like this and this is how my design is ready right now it is not a very perfect design but it will deliver my message so this is how it is looking and if you see there was a 3d shape of this 
cards like it was clear that it's a 3d shape the shadow here so we can simply do that and how to let's take a let's take black and our pen tool sorry our pen tool to draw a shape like this and then another shape like this and then i'm going to bring it back inside these shapes okay so i cannot see the anchor points because i hide them let's press ctrl h again and they will be back so i can simply join it here and then press shift h sorry shift x to make it visible like this and let's try a, a little kind of a gray color so that it feels like a shadow not a perfect black there so this is how it is looking but there is a little problem it is overlapping with my that text and don't worry so once we are applying this kind of light paint effect on our design it needs to be expanded so you can see there is the expand button here if i click on that it is going to be expanded now if i select this one and this one then i can simply press shift m shift m is for shape builder then i can pick any color i want then i'm going to join them together so that these areas will be hidden so that gray color will remain on outside of this black shapes only so this is something like this it should it is looking like that let's make it let's make it a bit lighter color or you can simply make it full black then you can turn down the opacity to make it look like a shadow because that is that will not be a problem because we have a background color so reducing reducing opacity is not a problem there on top of a color so this is how it is going to look right now don't worry and then i'm going to make everything a group here so this is how my text part is looking okay let me show you so i need to select this part this shape that we that i created earlier and then i'm going to make it this color but for that i need to make sure that it is it is going to stay on top so cut it ctrl x and then ctrl f then pick this color so that is important and i will show you how so this is how my graphics part is made let's add some text and for this one i just want to make it a simple text let's play nothing else i am not going to write in squid games or anything like that i will not mention the name here so something like this do not mentioning the name or anything because it's everything is copyrighted now if you work like this it can be non copyrighted or it is not like saying what i am doing but still it is dangerous and do not do this do not upload this anywhere so this is the text i need to change it to the font here so if i i have downloaded that font so that name is game of squids and this is how it is looking let's play and i'm going to just keep it simple like this let's break it so that i can simply change the colors here i want to put it close to each other just like this then i can simply align them but there is one more thing let me show you so if you see this squid game poster you will see this pink colors so they are putting this pink colors inside these shapes so let's do that i am going to take this pink and let's take a rectangle here or you can simply take your pen tool just to add a shape like this okay that much is fine for me okay let's add something here and then one here inside this a so that is it that's it let's select this one this one this one and then cut ctrl b paste in back so you can see this is how we can make that exact same text effect with that font and this is the design for this one i hope you guys will learn something new from this one and this is how you can 
make a trendy design i you keep asking how to find trends so this is a trendy design squid game is now trending so you can make anything related to this that is trending but be careful anything related to this can be get can get your account banned so this is just to show you how to use trends do not copy this do not use this style to create anything and upload anywhere just for practice so this is how it is going to look right now and this is my final design i can add some details to the hand also for some shading but that's not very important here so i hope you will learn something new from this one you will learn how to modify a trend how to catch a trend to make a t-shirt design depending on that and that's it for today's video guys if you learn something new let me know in the comment section thank you for watching my videos see you in the next video guys thank you very much have a great time